Tonight we're gonna be cooking bison burgers. These bison burgers were purchased from Sam's Club. Now they usually come in frozen and I let them defrost for about eight to nine hours. They said they're great for grilling, but I'm gonna cook them in a cast iron pan. All right, we'll get, I'm gonna get the fire started. Put it about uh, medium heat level. And now I have my bison burgers. Type of beef, but it, it is much leaner. Depends on how you want it cook, but I prefer it medium rare, so I don't have to cook it for a very long period of time. I would suggest about no more than five minutes for each side. So as you can see them, they come packed like this. Let's see how they smell. Hmm, smell pretty fresh. Now let's add some salt and some fresh pepper to them. Now I'm using uh, sea salt, there's no iodine in it. Then I'm gonna add some pepper. Fresh ground pepper. Now the same to the other side. Now I have a cast iron pan here, so how do we make sure our cast iron is really hot? What I like to do is just splash it with water, see if it bounces off or not. And then sort of feel it. So let me add the first one. I had a little accident. That one came apart, and then I'm gonna add the second one. How long do you cook it? Well, I suggest no more than five minutes if you want a medium to medium well burger. Um, the bison doesn't contain a lot of fat. I didn't add any oil or butter to the pan. I simply heated it up, and then I added the burgers. All right, so that was about two minutes and a half. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Now you have to hold on to the pan. Just make sure you use some sort of napkin to hold on to them. Because the pan is quite hot at this point. I'm still going on the medium heat. As you can see, the uh, side that I put them on, they got quite the burn. So on the same pan I'm cooking the burgers, I'm adding the potatoes because I want a little bit of that bison flavor. Okay, there's another one. I always suggest if you boil your potato like I did, that you cut into thicker pieces so that your potato doesn't fall apart.
Now you don't want to overcook your burgers because what's going to happen is if you keep them on the in the pan for too long they are going to start leaving water and instead of cooking them on this cast iron you're actually going to start boiling them so you don't want to do that so let's see what we have so far As I said, these don't have a lot of fat, so actually I was starting to overcook them. So as you can see, you get inside. So I'm just gonna place them on the plate real nice and easy. Now again, I'm not, I don't have any buns. I'm not adding any bacon or cheese to them. I'm just letting them be. Because I just want the meat and I want the potatoes. Now we're gonna cut some butter. Depends on how much you want, but I prefer about Two tablespoons and then I haven't salted these potatoes so at this point I'm going to add some salt and then we're going to add some pepper generally cast iron pans are not ideal for cooking vegetables All they have is that little brownish color, that Maillard reaction that's happening. And in a few minutes, they should be done. Okay, at this point, I can go ahead and shut off my stove. Now, unlike a regular burger or steak, you will not see a great amount of juice being left out by the this kind of meat uh, because, as I said, it is quite muscular. It does not contain a great deal of fat. Now if you want you can top it off with some green, some cheese. In this case what I will do, I will top them off with some goat cheese. And this pan, don't worry about it, you have to leave it so that it cools down because you don't want to put or plunge this cast iron in cold water you want it to leave it until it cools down to room temperature and then you clean it and now we'll just go ahead and take a fork to it and then just crumple it on top of the potatoes And then I will just let it melt and then that's about it so we had the bison burgers with the boiled or baked potatoes if you like and then we added just some goat cheese <laughs>